Hey guys, we're Adam and Steph, and we're converting a retired school bus into our first tiny home on wheels. Nine months ago, we released a video on our channel where we insulated and built our subfloors. And if you remember anything about spring and summer of 2021, you know how astronomical the lumber prices were. Very expensive, by the way, during a pandemic. If you're ever curious what $800 worth of lumber looks like, that's roughly it. When we bought the materials, we definitely cheaped out, and it's biting us in the butt now. I feel like this bus is a piece of shit. This week, it's finally time to fix our mistakes before we can move forward with the rest of our build. Hit that subscribe button to join our schoolie conversion journey, and let's get right into the video. Good morning. Hello. Oh man, it's been a while since we've held the camera like this, I feel like. Mm -hmm. But it feels good to be back. So today we're going to be redoing our subfloors because... We messed it up. <laughs> we really did. We didn't look up what thickness of plywood to use when doing a floor. So we just grabbed three eighths. Well, it was also because we did the subfloor in the height of the lumber shortage. So... Yeah, we... Uh, things were very expensive, so we started to cut corners on things like that. Now, the price has come down enough that, what is it, uh, five-eighths yes. plywood is $600 for six sheets. Yeah. What a deal. <laughs> <laughs> and it, well, it, including tax. If we had bought these last year, it would have cost us probably like $1,500. So yeah. We ended up spending $1,500 in total by ruining the floors, but we can use this wood in other places. Yeah, so we're gonna take up the plywood that's already in the bus. We're going to add some more structural beams with two by fours, so we bought some extra two by fours, and then we're gonna lay down our new plywood, which is five eighths plywood. So. Let's redo it. Let's redo it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first things first, let's clean her out. clean bus. This is nice. We have to take out all the screws and take up all the plywood. And we also need to take out these strapping pieces because they're kind of on top of the plywood. Maybe we'll take off the back piece. I don't know if we want to take one out and put one in. I think let's take them all out so that we can clean out underneath too and like see what we're dealing with. If we need to put any extra two by fours in. Well, I can tell right now. This area is the worst, absolutely. This, this piece is god awful. Yeah. So I think we're gonna add a beam in the middle here. Right here, maybe one in the middle right here. So it feel a little bit. Yeah. Back here, we're never gonna step on it. Yeah, and this it, is... And even though we're not gonna step on it, it feels solid. Like, the only part that doesn't need to feel solid does feel solid. It's mainly because the plywood's too thick. Yeah. It also really looks like shit too because we did the subfloors before we did the skylight, and the skylight we had open in the rain for like five weeks, so. Yeah, it got all like stained, but it's not the main problem really. That was just an insult to injury. Yeah. It, 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 this flooring is affecting how I feel about the bus. I feel like this bus is a piece of shit. <laughs> Cause I don't feel inspired to work on the bus and make it this perfect tiny home when I feel like I'm in a dumpster. <laughs> All right, let's start demoing the floor. So our design has changed a little bit since we've done the floors. We put a stud right here because that's where we thought the end of our bathroom wall would be. But when we bought the acrylic piece for our skylight, it was just like three to five inches too short of what we originally had planned. 
So we had to make that up with some sheet metal on the top here. So we decided we want our wall now to be here and actually it ended up working out pretty well because now it gives us some room to put our piping for our shower head and a vent that we're going to put right here into the wall. But now we need to move our stud over a little bit. And if we move it over a little bit, that's where our in-floor heating is, so we need to move that as well. So I think what we're going to do is just measure how much we want to move it over, which I think is five and a half inches. We'll take it off the bottom here, like right there, and then cut this piece out, move this down, and then, you know, shimmy the pipe down a little bit and then we can put a new board right here. So we've decided we're going to add one more stud in the middle here, like that. We're going to do that all the way up to the front, but we think we should do it section by section first. We're just going to like put, make little pieces that go in between. Yeah, but I wanted to like trace, oh. you know what, where we have to cut, you know what I mean? Okay. I think the plot, like having a thicker plywood, will like diminish most of the problems we are having. But you now's know, the time to do it. Now's the time to do it since the floor is up. So.
I experimented with a new tool that we got. It's called the Craig Jig Pocket Hole thing. Jig. <laughs> I wanted to try it out on these wheel well boxes that I'm building. So I think it worked pretty well. I think I'm gonna like this tool when we start framing out other things and building other cabinets and stuff for the bus. But here's what it's looking like so far. Oh, just fell over. <laughs> I put pocket holes here, drilled it into the bottom piece, and then I just drilled the top. Cross section on normally, just through the top. But I also put pocket holes here so that after I can screw it down to the floor. We're gonna put our batteries on top of this wheel well, so we want it to be pretty strong. That's why I put an extra piece here and I turned my two by four on the side like this. And now I just gotta make my side pieces. Design that. Not me. <laughs> the floors are all done and looking perfect. They're nice and sturdy and everything's great. We're super happy that we took the time to redo the floors. I mean, it sucked financially and time wise. It obviously set us back a little bit. We also made this one box on this side. Our battery is going to go on top, so we made it pretty strong. We just uh, used the old plywood from the floor to cover it up and then once we get it spray foamed inside it'll really help with the uh, sound deadening of the wheels and then we'll just put another piece of plywood on top and close that up. We didn't do this one yet because uh, we've got our in-floor heating pipes. If you haven't seen our in-floor heating video check it out I'll put a card right up here. So we got to run our pipes down into the underbody box that we're going to be installing next underneath the bus and once that's done then we can put this piece of plywood down and then we can build uh, this wheel well box as well. All right that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one when we do our underbody boxes. Yep that's next. All right see you next week. Bye! Bye.